The Tibetan fox looks like a fox that was drawn by a child. It also looks like a taxidermied fox gone wrong. Maybe that's why it constantly looks like it's pissed off. Hi, I'm Danielle Dufo, and you're watching Animal Logic. The Tibetan fox is internet famous for being one of the silliest looking predators on Earth. But is there more to this step fox than his gigantic square head? There is, but we'll get to that later. First, let's focus on what makes him iconic. Their faces look like they've been drawn by a kid who's probably never seen a fox before. They have a gigantic square face, tiny triangular ears, and a black circle for a nose, and kind of flat eyes and mouths. They almost look not real. Seriously, if a Tibetan fox showed up in a Star Wars movie, I'd call it bad CGI. But okay, we're not here to dunk on the Tibetan fox all day. There are reasons for its seemingly mismatched features. Let's give it some context. Tibetan foxes, as you probably already figured out, live only on the Tibetan plateau. This vast area of Central Asia is cold year-round due to its extremely high elevation. It's so high and surrounded by such imposing peaks that it's nicknamed the Roof of the World. The Tibetan fox can live at elevations of up to 5,000 meters. Mont Blanc, the highest peak in Western Europe, is only 4,800 meters high, so in theory a Tibetan fox could live on top of it with ease. In general, animals that live in extreme environments end up looking a little funny. Tibetan foxes are no exception. They just took it to the extreme. The biggest reason for their look is their extremely long and dense fur, which protects them from the cold. If you were to shave one or even just give it a trim, it wouldn't look too different to a red fox or a corsac fox. So really, they just look like a regular fox that got stung in the face by a bee. The ears are small and fluffy to prevent them from losing heat and also make them less conspicuous to their prey. And their cartoonishly small eyes and nose are adaptations to have the smallest possible amount of skin exposed to their elements. Their tail is basically a built-in cozy blanket that they cover themselves with when they sleep, just like other cold weather foxes do. See, there is an upside to looking like a fox ordered off of Wish. Of course, their fur is also perfectly colored to blend in with the grasses and mosses of the plateau. This is crucial when hunting for their favorite prey, the most important animal in the ecosystem, the plateau pika. The electrifyingly cute pikas are lagomorphs and are more closely related to rabbits than to rodents. Pikas are a keystone species because they provide food to almost all the carnivores in the ecosystem. And by provide food for carnivores, I don't mean that they go to the grocery store for them. Mm -mm. They also keep the soil healthy by burrowing and recycling nutrients. That's just a polite way of saying they eat a lot and poop a lot. And by doing that, they fertilize the soil. In a typical case of you are what you eat, the Plateau Pika also looks a bit like a sketch made from memory. Round body, small ears for a lagomorph, and dirt-colored fur. Their huge eyes are always on alert, scanning the land and sky for predators. Tibetan foxes need all the help they can get to catch them before they dive into their burrow. And so, they've been observed following other predators around, like bears, polecats, and birds of prey, who might have caught the scent of a pika. The predators will try and flush the pika out of its burrow, and the Tibetan fox will be ready to pounce for an easy meal. When other predators aren't around, they have to hunt solo or with their mating partner. Tibetan foxes mate for life, and when they have babies, they take turns to go hunting. If one spots a pika, it must get close enough to pounce. An early move will send the pika sprinting back into its burrow. The fox virtually glides over the grass, staying close to the ground, tucking its ears in as much as it can. But then a twig snaps. His cover is blown. 
the pika retreats to its burrow, and the Tibetan fox will have to try again. Luckily, there are many more pikas to be caught. Tibetan foxes may not be traditionally cute, or particularly smart, or even great hunters, but they have managed to survive in one of the toughest habitats in the world. Part of that is because they're great parents and take care of their pups until they're fully independent. Thankfully, unlike many other species of fox, Tibetan fox fur is too coarse for humans to want to wear. And so, their main threats are from programs designed to eradicate their primary food source, pikas from farmland. Tibetan foxes are not endangered, but due to their terrain being so inaccessible to humans and their territories being so vast, we don't actually know if their numbers are trending up or down. But the research suggests that even though all the Tibetan foxes look super pissed, it's probably not due to their population crashing. What would this fox say? Please let me know in the comments with your thoughts. And don't forget to subscribe for new episodes every week. Thanks for watching. See ya!